Hello and welcome back to the Take a Pause Vlogs channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Clover and how I crate trained her because I would like to say that Clover is 100% fully crate trained. Um, she sleeps in her own bed at night. If we're having dinner and I want to put her in the crate, she just goes in it, no problem. She goes in it on her own accord. She likes being in it. So I want to tell you everything I did to crate train my puppy to get a well-behaved, good sleeping puppy. Now, don't get me wrong. This took months of hard work, dedication, commitment, and sleepless nights. I had a lot of sleep deprivation during the first few months of bringing Clover home but I knew that my number one rule was going to be no dogs on the bed at night. Clover knows that when it is time to go to bed and to turn the lights out she goes in her own bed and that's that. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you exactly how I set it up from the day that I brought her home. we had some changes. I didn't use the same thing the entire time because I realized that she didn't like it. Um, we started off with a crate. So this is Clover's crate. <laughs> she knows, get your butt out of that camera. She knows that, okay, she doesn't want to go in it right now, which is fair enough. She doesn't go in it in this room and that is fine. As you can see, we, have covered it with a blanket because this makes it nice and dark and cozy. Now this crate lives in our living room now. This is her cozy corner of the living room that she goes when she wants a bit of space, um, if she wants a little nap, if she <laughs> decides that she wants to hide from Bella for a little bit, if Bella's feeling a little bit grumpy. She loves this space and I think an, a part of it is to do with your puppy's temperament and their initial reaction to the crate so this is the one that we've had from day one we don't need a bigger one because she is a small dog now she does not sleep in this at night it is too small for her to sleep in <laughs> what are you doing it's too small for her to sleep in at night because she can't spread out she can't get comfortable in different positions but it is a perfect spot for her to go and lay and snuggle up during the day, in the living room, or whilst we're having dinner. Right at the very beginning, when the first day we brought her home, we set this crate up immediately. At the second we brought her through the door, the first thing that we did was built this crate up. It was very easy to assemble. And we showed her to it. We didn't push her into it. We just left it there. It had a blanket in it. It had a couple of toys in it. It's got this, um, I know, I know, it's yours. It has this uh, cushion inside of it that's machine washable and it's been super durable and I couldn't be any more pleased with it. Come on. Usually we have no problems when we put her in. So we'll see if she starts to squeal. Let me get her a toy. So day one, we showed it to her. We encouraged her to go in with some treats and we rewarded her for going inside it. We did not shut the door behind her. And to this day, if she goes in on her own accord, we do not shut the door behind her because that was her decision to go inside. If we put her in like I did just then and I shut the door, generally, and she's being pretty good about it right now, she understands that that is her space and her time to sit in there and I will decide, not her, when she comes out of the crate. I don't want to keep her in it because she doesn't, she's not in it in here. This isn't what, what we do. So the first day we brought her home, I put her in the crate at night time. Clover. I put her in the crate at night time and she cried and cried and cried, but I was persistent with it. However, nine-week-old puppies cannot hold their pee or their poo. And 
putting a puppy in a crate this small doesn't give them enough space to sleep and pee and poo but we don't need a bigger crate than this so what i did the second night was i get your butt out so the second night i put this with the door open inside a pen and i'm going to show you the pen that we've got when we had her the second night we created something like this so you've got the pen around the edge and the crate in the, the, the middle so that she's still got this enclosed dark space and we put puppy pads all around the edge. And this, we kept this set up for a few weeks and then we took the crate out, kept it in the living room and just put towels over the edge and pegged them on so that it was still a dark space. Now that she's nine months old, we don't put the towels over the top anymore. She doesn't need it to be so dark. And after a few weeks, she was big enough that she could climb out of this. Using the corners, she would put paws on either side and climb up. And again, all that requires to get out of that climbing out behavior is constant um, and repeated reminders that you decide when the puppy comes out of the pen. So there were, there were times and there were evenings and nights where she would be out and I'd put her back in and she'd immediately come out again and I'd put her back in. And it'd be super late at night, I'd be sat on the edge of the bed just waiting for her to get out again so I could put her back in. And puppies learn very quickly what is acceptable and what is not. The key is consistency. Of all Clover's behaviour, this is the consistent one because it's the only one I've really truly been consistent with. And since she's become bigger, we have taken the crate out and put in a big, soft, comfy bed. Now we waited until she was older and had like started not peeing on the puppy pads in the crate because eventually they'll stop doing that because they don't want to pee and poo where they're sleeping. So when she'd stopped, consistently stopped pooing and peeing on the puppy pads around the, pet, the, the crate, we took the crate out of the pen and put this um, bed in. And to this day, this is what she sleeps in. So that is everything from me and Clover. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You tell them, tell them like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, <laughs> yes, please do subscribe because I will be doing more Clover updates. And of course you will get your usual self-care, positive tips and tricks as per usual. Um, but yes. Enjoy the rest of your day or whatever you're doing and I will see you in the